Well, I think every Australian would realise that when you go to the pub and your schooner of beer now costs 12 13 14 dollars sometimes 15 dollars your landlord's jacking up your rent by 10 or 15 percent uh you know the banks are jacking up your mortgage 100 200 300 percent you know that your energy bill's up 20 25 percent that something is terribly wrong in this country we we are a very primitive country in terms of what we export we dig out of the ground basically dirt which is iron ore stick it on a boat and ship it to china we um, dig out dead trees, which is basically coal, and ship it overseas to Japan and, and China. But in between that, let's just keep pushing house prices up, right? So house prices have gone up over the last 60 years, 86 times. Uh, and government policy, absent of hoping and praying that commodity prices go up, commodities that we don't elaborately transform into higher end goods, such as you know, petrochemicals and, and, and so forth, um, have led to a, a situation where the country uh, where it has manufacturing as a percentage of, 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 of GDP on par with a financial haven like, like Luxembourg. The only reason why house prices are going up is because we're bringing more people into the country. So Australia now, household debt's about 211%, uh, which is double uh, to, to GDP, which is double the US, a country that you normally associate with credit cards and debt. Households are basically at the at, at breaking point and, and mortgages are skyrocketing. Um, we're currently at 3.85% in terms of the interest rate, which is lagging uh, the US, the UK and Canada, which are four and a half to, to, to five and a bit. And um, we're at the point now where it's a complete replay of the movie The Big Short. It's that all these mortgages during, during COVID were written about 1.95%. And this quarter, 17% of all fixed rate mortgages will come off uh, those low rates and, and, and go up to a much, much higher rate. And by the latest uh, data I saw, the mortgages are now 7 8%. And if rates go up next week, it will be 9%. And uh, it's exactly the global financial crisis, which we saw in America, happening here in Australia today.